Hi, this is Mary from Open Helix with this week's Tip of the Week. If you're seeing this tip someplace else, please be sure to come back by our blog at blog.openhelix.com for additional details. I'll provide links to the resource I'm talking about today, links to the publications, and so on. So check us out at blog.openhelix.com. Now for today's tip, we're going to visit a feature at the UCSC Genome Browser. We've talked about hubs before, but there's a new paper that's just come out. And if you haven't had a chance to think through the hubs so far, now is the time to take a look at that paper and explore them again. And so I just wanted to emphasize how you could do that at the UCSC Genome Browser as kind of a companion to that paper. If you go to the UCSC Genome Browser site, you know you have access to dozens of genomes. So I'm going to click the link for Genomes or Genome Browser here to get to a gateway. So you have access to all these genomes that are available here. But in addition to the data that's provided by the folks at UCSC and all the reference genome data and the annotation data that's available here, researchers around the world can also overlay their data onto the UCSC Genome Browser using the Track Hub mechanisms. If you click the button here for Track Hubs, you'll have access to the feature I wanted to highlight today. Here we have access to Track Data Hubs. What we've got here are a number of research groups around the world that have provided a whole collection of data that you can load on to different genome assemblies. It varies here. You can see it's rat, mouse, human. You can click the checkbox here, click the Use Selected Hubs, and the data that's available from this server will be loaded onto the UCSC Genome Browser for you to explore. So you can see a lot of research groups have tried this already, and they've created public hubs that are available for everyone to use. But in addition to this, if you've got data from your lab, Annotation data on any of the assemblies that's available in the UCSC Genome Browser, you can also do the same kind of thing. You can structure your data just like these folks have, make it available on a server, and you can load it up through the My Hubs mechanism here. This will provide you with the framework of the UCSC Genome Browser without having to install a UCSC Genome Browser locally and, and use that. And you can make that available to researchers that you might be collaborating with around the world. You have access to the public data sets that are available here, or you can use the same mechanism to create your own hubs. The way to start doing that is to take a look at the user guide on that paper that I was just referencing. Click the user guide to learn more about that. There's a lot more detail here that will help you to understand what these hubs are and how to set up your own, the structure that you need, kind of information, the way you have to do that. So there's a lot of help here. And there's also a wiki and other sites for you can it was for you to learn more about uh, the kinds of information that you need to structure and set up. But in addition to using the existing reference genomes and adding your types of annotations onto that, you can also create entirely new genome assemblies with the assembly hub. Even if UCSC doesn't host a reference genome for the species or the project that you're interested in, you can create an assembly hub that stores and provides that information as well. All you have to do is click the, the assembly hubs here for the wiki details that will help you to understand how that functions. So the assembly hub lets you display novel genome sequence using the UCSC Genome Browser. So again, you don't have to install and maintain a local UCSC Genome Browser. You can use this existing mechanism to load up a new genome and your annotations and explore those with your team. The hubs give you a lot of extended functionality beyond the basic creating just a custom track to load up something and look at it. It um, provides a lot more opportunity for you to load up large data sets. Track hubs are the mechanism you want to check out for that. So as, as I mentioned, check out that paper. And there's actually a couple of other papers, too, that extend this even more and provide other types of functionality. Now, this isn't for everyone. Not every average user will need to use this. But if you've got a big data set that you want to look at, or if there's other, like these other data sets here that you might have seen in the publication, this is the way to load them up into the UCSC Genome Browser Framework to take a look around. Check out Track Data Hubs at the UCSC Genome Browser and start using those to explore the genomes. Thanks very much for your time.